Welcome everybody and today we're going to look at a Facebook group called Emerging Shoe Brands. Uh, this is one of the groups that I moderate. I thought you'd like. In September I support uh, different charities and this particular charity for this year is going to be the Light the Night fundraiser for Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Uh, this is just one, one charity that I've done some vetting on and that I feel is a uh, really good cause. Uh, a lot of people that I know have been personally touched by this so I just want to give back. Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to point out that I've organized all my videos into playlists on my channel. So if you're looking for more videos around a specific topic, uh, especially topics like this with general shoe knowledge, you can find all of the videos in one place uh, so that you're able to easily access everything that's out there. Thanks so much. One of these groups has actually got contributions from a number of YouTube channels. This is called Emerging Brands Contributors and actually goes in and looks at a lot of different shoes that are relevant to this particular video. So please check this particular one out. Hey, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Uh, in between shoe battles, unboxing, getting to know your shoes, uh, one of the things that I do to stay active on social media is I um, uh, work on a few groups um, having to do with shoes, shoe care, things like that. Um, and uh, both as an individual contributor, moderator, and, and uh, admin for a couple. Um, one such group is called Emerging Shoe Brands. I'm really excited about this group. This is something that uh, a group of us got together and decided to put together because we felt like when you start a new brand or you find a new brand, it's really hard to find information on it. It's um, difficult to get um, you know, insights into it. I mean, there are a couple of bloggers who do a great job, don't get me wrong, on, on being able to put, the, uh, put these brands and showcase them and let people know about them. Uh, the two that I read consistently are Shoe Gazing and The Shoe Snob. But um, we decided that a Facebook group would work well for this as well. And so we've really worked hard at um, you know, putting together some content. We've defined emerging shoe brands as, um, and one of my, my, my fellow uh, uh, moderators on this um, actually put together a video introducing it with the rules, which I'll link here. But um, we really defined it as a brand that is um, you know, either under 10 years old or uh, is, is little known. Right, so we've got some brands that we showcase, like uh, J. Fitzpatrick Shoes, which is a little bit older, right? I guess I, I guess is the best way to put it. I think it's seven and a half, eight years old, but it's um, uh, it's it's not as well known, and uh, certainly not something that people outside the shoe circles really necessarily know. And so we're trying to provide exposure for 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 that brand, and that brand is going through a lot of transformation and has a, a new line coming out within it, and, and some really exciting stuff. Um, and then we also are, are always on the hunt for new shoe brands. And so uh, reading the Shoe Snob blog, I checked out a, a, a new brand, which I'll showcase later called Passus. Um, this is the kind of thing that, you know, I get really excited about. I can, I can learn about a new brand. I can look at it, decide whether or not it's something I want to investigate, decide whether or not it's something that I want to try out. Um, and these brands are going to range in price significantly, right? There's some hand-welted brands. There's Goodyear-welted brands. Uh, there's Blake-stitched brands all kinds of different ones. And um, so um, in this video, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to showcase a couple of the brands that I think are, are worthy of note in this and um, really interested in getting your take on them. 
Um, I'll take some of the things from the website. I don't own shoes in all of these brands where I own them. I'll, I'll certainly um, comment on that. But um, this is the, uh, you know, this is what this online forum is all about. It's about getting to know um, these different brands and, and hearing from people who um, have experience with them and, and can share. So everybody has to, uh, every brand has to have people that buy from it in the first year. And uh, I was fortunate enough that I bought from TLB Mallorca in the first year and I got to like it and love it. And now it's a couple years old and I'm a fan. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, not every brand is like that. And I'm certainly not that engaged with each of the brands. And so want to, uh, you know, just share with you guys what uh, what we've uncovered so far and and where uh, where, where we think it's uh, where we, where we think it's heading. So this is uh, just uh, an intro and, and kind of a fun video. Not uh, I'm obviously I, I don't profit from any of this. This is just something that, you know, I have a passion for and wanted to share with you. So thanks for uh, watching. Thanks. So I've picked out 14 brands that I want to highlight today. Some of these I own and some of them I don't. Uh, the first is Y by Yosol. I have a couple pairs from this, uh, one from the Prestige line and one from the regular line, and I have a hand-welted pair on the way, uh, which I look forward to discussing in the future. Edwin and James is through Petiware in the UK. Uh, I do have a pair of Shell Cordovan from this line, uh, from their top line. Uh, and it's very, very well made, very happy with it. It's actually made by Barker, but not all of their shoes are. They use many different makers for them. And they have these different lines, uh, some starting as low as 150 bucks. Uh, TLB Mallorca, if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a big fan. Uh, this is something that's only a couple years old out of Spain and uh, makes really, really good shoes. Uh, I'm a big fan of their Artista line as well as their main line. Uh, they've done some really great work here and uh, really, really fine detail work in these shoes. Uh, so if you uh, take a look through this uh, site, there's some really exciting stuff here. Uh, it is Goodyear welted, uh, very, very high quality, and uh, the leathers used are also very high quality. So couldn't be happier with them. The next up is Michael Darren shoes. This is by Michael Baldinger, who's also an admin on this site. Uh, he is uh, really doing some great work with these shoes. I own one pair of these, uh, which is a Blake stitched hole cut, and uh, I've been very happy with it so far. Uh, next is Acme. Now this is out of Shanghai and is something that I've read a lot about but don't have any personal experience with. Very excited to try it out. Now Fukushin is out of Vietnam, uh, is well known for um, uh, in, in Japan specifically and uh, is uh, something that's new to me. I have ordered a pair of split toes, uh, split toe bluchers from them, and I'm excited to see how it is. The experience that I've had so far has been absolutely first rate. Uh, I wanted to include, in addition to the About Us information, also the, um, uh, the Instagram, because I think that there are some uh, really good shots there that uh, are interesting. October 10th is also out of China and is a really good maker. Um, I have participated in this uh, Sons of Henry uh, uh, made to order piece and uh, I have a pair that I've posted online which I really like. Uh, I've posted a few pictures here so you can kind of see some of the differences. Uh, these are just really, really high quality hand welted shoes and I'm very excited about them. Uh, the um, variety is just really great. Now, Sons of Henry has their own lines as well, and I have uh, one pair of uh, split toe bluchers in uh, Utah calf from them, and I've been very, very happy with the way these are constructed, the way they're designed. Uh, I really consider them a very underrated shoe. If you haven't tried them, try it. it it's worth it. Hephaestus is something that I have a project on hold with, uh, I, and I will bring that back up probably at the end of the year, I hope. Uh, they do some really, really fantastic works. A lot of the folks that I know have done some shoes with them and uh, have been very pleased. Luffentang is a high quality brand out of Sweden that's associated with a shoe store, as you can see in the text here. I've been very happy with the shoes that I've bought that are Luffentangs and also shoes from this particular store. Very, very high quality and uh, just great service. Leather Lately was a brand I was introduced to on the Alan Edmonds Enthusiast page on Facebook. Uh, the owner actually came on and introduced the brand to us and asked us to give it a try, and I did. I had two pairs and uh, just really, really nice, well-made shoes uh, made in Leon, Mexico. So uh, very happy with this brand and would recommend it to anybody who's willing to try something new. 
Oak Street Bootmakers is from my hometown of Chicago. Uh, I have not tried these, but I have heard some very, very good uh, feedback on them, uh, specifically from one of my friends on Facebook, who is a real boot guy. And, uh, you know, the quality of the workmanship, the, the fact that it's in Chicago, um, all these things are, are really uh, very interesting to me. And uh, I do want to give them a try just to have not bought a pair of boots in quite some time. So uh, this is uh, one to keep an eye out on. Uh, I have looked at, obviously, they do carry shoes as well. And uh, the shoes look really, really good. Um, not into uh, loafers, so uh, we'll probably pick up a pair of lace-ups in casual. Uh, lately, most of my shoes have not been casual. They've been more on the dressy side. Speaking of dressy, this is a uh, brand out of Paris that I'm really anxious to try. Uh, they don't have a very wide selection of shoes, but the quality of the shoes that they have seem to be first rate. I do know somebody who has ordered a pair of these and is very, very pleased with the quality and uh, something that I will uh, be checking out here in the near future. And lastly, Passes Shoes is a, um, a new brand that I heard about through the uh, Shoe Snob blog. Uh, very excited to try these out. The look of the shoes so far has been really exciting, so can't wait to give them a try.